And now to the latest on the Hurricane Harvey and the death toll has now risen up to 44, even as U.S. President Donald Trump has made a second visit to flood-stricken Texas. Now the death toll continues to rise and Trump has praised the relief response teams in the manner as to which how they have responded to the hurricane. Now he and his wife Melania have also met the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Now this is his second visit to Texas since the hurricane struck. The president and his wife Melania Trump were greeted warmly on an unannounced stop at an NRG center, which is also a convention complex, which is now being converted into a facility to assist the evacuees. The visit has given Trump an opportunity to show an empathetic side to the victims. This was also one of the camps where a number of African Americans were stationed. And this unannounced visit where he met, greeted and interacted with a number of people from the African American community was seen as an attempt by Donald Trump to reach out to all sections of people who were affected by the floods. Now the Trumps later flew to flooded Lake Charles in Louisiana. The storm is also expected to be one of the costliest natural disasters in U.S. history, which has displayed as, displaced as many as one million people and left behind a trail of wreckage in an area which stretches more than 300 miles. While some residents have been allowed to return to their homes, floodwaters are still rising in some areas. Now, earlier this week, Trump had made his first visit to Texas after Hurricane Harvey made a landfall in the state. He was, however, criticized for not visiting the disaster zone and not meeting with the victims. It's been really nice. It's been a, it's been a wonderful thing. It's as, tr as tough as this was, it's been a wonderful thing. I think even for the country to watch and for the world to watch. But I think most importantly, the governor, the relationship with the governor and the mayor and everybody, it's been fantastic. And with, and with the federal government, it's been really good. And we're signing a lot of documents now to get money into this. $7.9 billion. We signed it, and now it's going through a very quick, hopefully quick process.